Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Prospect Central 101. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a little bit of Cam Akers tape. So, Akers here is officially declared now as a third year junior. He is a running back from Florida State University, listed unofficially on this database that is provided by Mark Jarvis uh, at 5'10 to 110 pounds. So, uh, with that being said, this should be an interesting watch. I haven't seen a whole lot of him, uh, but I did get to watch the Florida State Louisville game. I think I remember him playing in that. Uh, memory from that particular game has kind of gone away, but uh, uh, we have three other ones that he played in this season to take a look at Clemson, Virginia, and Boise State. So I'm going to start out by taking a look at the Boise State game and non conference play. Uh, Boise State, one of the best, one of the best group of five teams in the country this year. Uh, the best was, well, at least according to this uh, committee, Memphis, but still, I, I'm almost positive they finished ranked top 25 or very close to it. He is going to be the running back, of course, so it should not be too difficult to pick him out, but. Uh, if needed, he is number three. I'm not subscribed. Be subscribed. So, with that being said, let's get this started. Okay. Okay, like the first initial first step there. Nice burst. And there's a little bit of finish speed. Oh, that's a great start. What I love about this play, right, is he has a really nice job of finding this hole early on in the play. And then, bam, just taking off the it, trusting that that hole is going to be there for him. Then he makes a guy miss. Well, actually, saying doesn't really make a miss, but breaks a tackle. Uh, and is off to the races. Love that. And our fourth and one, too. Wow. Yeah, bam. Just really nice balance point there. Good center of gravity. Nice shot getting low. <laughs> okay. His patience, and then you get to see a little bit of burst. So far, it looks a lot like Kyrian Johnson did to me. Really nice patience here. Does a great job of bringing in the backfield. And then, bam, when he sees his spot that he wants to take, he explodes. Okay. Swing out there. Okay, that should be prepared. That was actually a pretty good throw. Okay. Uh, not exactly what I was expecting to see there, but that's pretty cool. A little bit of a trick play. Nice, good hands. Love to see that. Nice shot falling forward. All the little details showing up on this play. And I love it too, because it's a very simple swing route, right? He's not really doing anything complex, but he turns his head early, gets his hands up, and then makes a clear hands catch there. And it just dives forward. I mean, that's really just doing your job. Nice pass protection. Love to see that. 
Interesting, okay. So he takes the secondary hole here. He actually has this one to the left side here if he wanted to, and then just has to get past 99. Uh, but he actually reads this block from 58, trusts himself to get around the first defender, and he does. So it ends up working out for first down. Okay. Nice. I really like how he uses this angle here. He doesn't even really chip him. But he almost kind of blocks him in a way without actually engaging. Almost like he's picking for the quarterback. Really interesting. I mean, that that's kind of broken. Not really a whole lot to do about that. And same thing. This singer. Ah. Oh. That's uh Especially on third and goal, that might have taken him out of field goal range. Okay, nice initial first quick cut. Nice one cut run here. And I love how he's just taking what's given to him as well. He's doing a great job from that standpoint. This really nice job of bringing the field and attacking downhill. Great, 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 great. Same thing. Very nice one cut run here. Bam, just counters this so nice, and then boom! One step and he's up. That's a 30 plus yard, whatever ends up being run. Oh man. Love how he's reading that playing pass pro though. He's doing a really nice job of being aware of this defender and positioning himself for the leverage that he would need to win. That's really nicely done. Really nice aggression downhill. Love his vulnerability through the A gap. Okay, wheel route here. I uh, wish you probably would have done a little bit better there. Oh, wow. I ended up bringing a touchdown anyway, but I wish you personally would have done a little bit better job in the, back, in the blocking standpoint there. Okay, nice block. Very nice. That was much better to me. Does a really nice job recognizing he's not getting that ball. And he actually gets a little bit of push. Now, I wish that, obviously, in an ideal situation, uh, he would have gotten a little bit more outside leverage and pushed in, and he would have, yeah. But, uh, given all things considered and that he's not the one with the ball in his hand, he actually does a great job with that block. Okay, a little bit of blocking release. Nice hands catch. And great job of just taking this upfield, right? Again, minimizing his angles. Oh, nice job of winning that hit in the backfield. That's a great job of making something out of nothing. Love the way he's able to make this guy miss right with his first step. Boom. This guy has a pretty clear path, and he just whooped right out of his ankles. Excellent. Okay, being a little bit picky here, I do wish he would have done a little bit more with this ship. Looks like from this particular frame that he may have missed him a little bit. Uh, so would like to see him be a little bit more physical in the chip game. That could have just been the angle too, though. Nice aggression, physicality downhill. Love that. Nice. 
Great job of redirect. See, it's inconsistent. That's an honestly for a running back. That's not the end of the world. I really love the way that he ends up redirecting this around the end of the pocket. And that's offensive tackle level technique there. That's really, really well done uh, for running back. Love the way he was able to work that pocket. Same thing. Great job of getting out of that quickly and moving into protection. Right here, he's already established, positions himself. Now, obviously, there's little technicalities and things that can be fine, but for running back, I'm, I'm personally more so focused on the result of the play. Uh, and pass protection, making sure that you keep the pocket clean rather than so much a technicality aspect like I would be for an offensive lineman. Uh, and so far, he's shown that he can keep his pocket clean and, and redirecting all that good stuff. So that's nice to see. Same thing there. Really nice job with the pl pl pick, well, uh, blitz pick up here. Keeps uh, the quarterback, I believe that's Blackman, free. And it gives him enough time to throw this ball away. And that's actually really well done. And I actually really like the first initial punch here, too. There's a really nice job of getting a little bit of a knockback. Wow, okay. I'm pretty impressed by that. Think, oh, nice physicality. Again, would like to work a little bit on the technicality side of things and getting the engagement and hand and all that kind of the picky technical stuff down with him. Uh, if you're a running back coach, but man, that physicality and willingness is already 10 out of 10. He's a, doing a great job with that aspect of his game. Love to see that. And it shows with his running style. I love the way that he's able to run downhill, right? Does a great job here of just attacking here. Physical runner, not afraid of contact in any aspect of his game. Excellent to see. But yeah, he's also good enough to make guys miss. And I think that that's the kind of thing that separates two. Is he's one of those guys who is both, right? There's a lot of guys who are kind of make a miss. I Saquon Barkley had a little bit of this in his game for me, right? Where he was almost kind of a little bit hesitant to run into guys and be physical and utilize his aggressiveness as a runner. Cam Akers isn't like that. He can make people miss, and he has a little bit of a juke move. He has a nice, quick cut. He knows how to position his body. He's agile enough to be able to control his body in space. But he also has that physical dimension to his game, too. It makes him so exciting to watch as a runner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't control it all the way to the ground. That's uh, something that can be corrected. Again, great blitz pickup. Love the way... Oh, and look at that initial first punch. Love to see this. He does a great job of scanning left to right. And bam, recognizes the blitzer and picks him up. Keeps that clean. Great anchor for a running back, too. Love that part of his game. Okay, would have been would have been nice to see him pick that hole a little bit faster. He has plenty of daylight here, but eh, that's not the end of the world. Six a little bit too much to script. Okay, nice again. Excellent blitz pick up here. Well, not really so much a blitz, but well, yeah, because he came from stand up. I really like the way that he helps out that offensive tackle on the end. That's a really nice job of, of pass protection set. Same thing, great blitz recognition. Unfortunately, the left to right tackle doesn't do his job and it results in a sack, but Akers here picks up his guy right off the end. Bam, excellent. Nice quick cut. Okay, again, would like to see a little bit more of a chip in his game. Not really a huge deal. 
Part of that could be schematic as well. I, oh, yes! Again! Excellent awareness on his part to read this play. Boom! Sees this guy coming backside. I, that's his eyes on the back of his head right there. He's doing a great job of scanning the right side of the field. Does so very quickly, and you can see in this frame, he's already redirected to this side of the field, recognize that that guard is going to be beating space, and then BAM! Lowers his shoulder right into the defender. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent aggressiveness, excellent physicality. Oh, he is so much fun to watch. Definitely a fan of that first game, for sure. Very much a Detroit Lions-style runner. He's the guy that, if we're looking for a running back to pair with, with uh, on Johnson this year, uh, he is someone I fully expect the Lions to be highly interested in. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball. He, he's very much a Bob Quinn type of running back. Very physical, great downhill running. Seems to be able to test in the kind of range that we're going to be looking for as well. He's not going to be a freaky 4-2 athletic speed back, but he's not going to be a slow 4-7 type of back, fullback type, type of guy either. Also has hands hands for hands catches too. Oh, Tripped a little bit. Still excellent job of going forward. It's great momentum. Nice, see? And again, that's kind of one of those things where like, you're kind of making one of those split-second decisions here. And he actually, I really like what he does here. I like that he ends up picking up this blitzer. Now, if he would have stepped into it a little bit more, it probably would have bought the quarterback a little bit more time. And that probably wouldn't have been deflected. Uh, but I do like the decision-making aspect there. It just probably could have positioned a little bit better. And that's one of the refinements, right? I mean, if you want him to be a little bit more aggressive in, in that sense, he can do that. He has shown several times in the Boise State game that he can be an aggressive blocker. Uh, so I'm not really too worried about that aspect of his game either. And again, right there, excellent cut block. <laughs> he is very, very good at pass protection for running back. And there, again, same thing. Just does a really nice job of stepping into that block. So it's more of a, okay, uh, one, one or two play issue there. The same thing. Really nice job of stepping into that block. Nice cut back. I like the idea. Didn't have any space to cut that outside, so. I, again, like the idea. His end result wasn't too hot. I love how he got out of that quick. He does a really nice shovel escaping the backfield on that route. Very nice clear out. Oh, yeah, was that a missed block? No, they just sent the uh, house blitz. My backer had him because the target came up. That's unfortunate. That was a nice quick read from the quarterback. Pretty cool concept. Nice quick cuts, good agility in space. Like his ability to fall forward. Okay, a little bit of a stiff arm. Oh, wow, he actually picks up a lot because of it. 
again, it's, this is part of the thing with, the, with what I'm getting at, right, about his moveset versus uh, contact willingness, right? He has a really nice shot, again, stiff arm is technically a move, in my book. It's a really nice shot, utilizing that move to avoid the defender, and then, bam, just uses that explosiveness and speed to be able to escape that backfield and, and pick up some positive yards, and first down in that play. Nice play to pick up, good angle too. Three free guys there, not really a whole lot you could do better. In fact, I actually like what he did there. Again, this is this is why I like downhill runners. And this is why Cam Akers fits my personal mold for a running back. Watch this, right? You have you can make the argument he could take this outside. There's a block there, there's a block there. It should be open for him on the linebacker, easy one on one way. But what he does as he attacks this downhill, the hole opens up on this interior scheme here. That's a great blocking scheme by their offensive line, to be completely honest here. You're only going to show by 51 in the right guard to open up that lane. And he just slides right through and picks up an easy 4 or 5 yards. He limits the angle and the path that he has to take. And in a very good way that minimizes your risk as a runner. Just takes very direct rushing lanes. And it works. Oh, yeah, nice balance. They're ready. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Love this, right? I was liking, waiting for him to turn his head here. He has a great job of doing it once he hits the, the break of his route. Blackman gets it to him, prepared, gets his hands up, and nice contested catch falling forward into the end zone. Nice. Great lower body contact balance. Love how he keeps his legs moving. Really going to help him at the next level too. Great churn. Nice quick cut. He gives me so many Aaron Jones vibes. I love Aaron Jones on UTEP. Uh, was a huge fan of that pick for the Packers. And he gives me so many similar feelings in the terms of in, in the direct routes, the pass protection ability, uh, the hands, the receiving ability that he get, he's going to be able to provide. Oh, yeah, he, he's a great runner. Running back, a complete running back, too. Again, excellent hands catch. I think he stepped out, but. Oh, man. Oh, that was a nice tight window throw. I wish he held on to that. Nice blitz pick up again. Excellent three down back. Three down back. Not third down back. Not two down back. Not rotational. Three down complete back. Excellent. Love the direct run approach. Oh wow, this is this is my favorite type of run in the book. Boom, plenty of, of traffic up front here, but still does a great job of rigging this gap. That's actually really again nicely blocked, but he just sees this hole early, explodes right through it, and then bam, knocks off the defender, just bursts through. And then falls forward. That is so nicely done. It's that side zone. A little bit of a cutback run there. Nice blitz pick up again. Nice shot turning for that football. Good catch. 
Again, great blitz pickup. And it allows him to throw an absolute strike. Watch this play. Great guard gets beat on pass protection. He picks him up clean. Gives Blackman plenty of time in the pocket to step up into the throw and throws an absolute dart to the receiver on third for a first down. Love that play. And that's the type of play that extends drives, that extends games, that extends your offense's ability to, to well, and it keeps your defense off the field on, in that aspect. There's just so much that, that type of, of player can do for your football team. And it goes so much further than just being able to run the ball on first down or run the ball on second down, picking up two or three yards. He's going to add so much to your offense. Boom, nice physical run. Right up the middle. Give him the ball. Oh, yes. Love this. Love this. Love this so much. Third and short. Makes the guy miss in the backfield, and bam, just lowers his shoulder and picks up the first in short yardage. He can do everything for your offense. Oh, man, this is an excellent tape. I'm really enjoying this. Be ready, nice. Turned it a little bit late, but not the end of the world. Still got his head around. That looked like a miscommunication, maybe. I think he was supposed to take that. Okay, nice fake there. That was blown up from the start. Looks like we got one more drive here. Nice blitz pickup. Good use of the angle as well. Like how he, he pushes this guy away. That's actually a really nice uh, uh, angle here by the defender to attack this, this corner and get free to bend around the end. But Akers is right there to pick him up and redirect. It almost led to a touchdown that were a more accurate throw. Nice physicality again. Great downhill runner. Nice explosion first step out of the backfield on that route. Really nice shot of getting up the field quickly. Lines up a receiver, so he does a little bit of route running potential as well. Turn, nice. Great priest yet breed. They're sort of okay, at least they're gonna go in the flag. Love how he reads this pressure from that overload blitz pre-snap. Adjust, positions himself really nicely, and doesn't even get the pass rush a chance to make an impact on that play. Oh, yeah, that was, that was awful quick. Nice blitz pick up again. Leads to a third down conversion at the goal line. Give it to him. Give it to him. Probably wouldn't have gone with Wildcat, but yeah, I, I mean, you had to put the ball in Cam Weaker's hands at that point. Yeah, that was that was very fun. Uh, I definitely enjoyed watching him. For those of you guys who want to watch the Clemson tape as well, uh, you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, 
But I've pretty much seen all I really need to see at this point in the process. I might go back and watch that a little bit later on my own time, off camera. But yeah, I am very pleased uh, with those two games. So we got Virginia and Boise State here. Both from 2019. So here we go, some of the traits that we're going to be looking at today. Vision, you probably could have done a little bit better in that area. I'm generally pretty harsh on that, so I'm really going to go with an 8. Uh, I do really like what he was able to do for the most part. He's still good in that area, uh, but there were a couple times where he ended up running into his blockers instead of through them, so uh, probably could have done a little bit better from that standpoint. Speed, I'm going to go with pretty safe 9. Uh, same thing with Burst, pretty safe 9 there. Uh, chugging Strength Physicality, I'm going to go with a 9 to be safe. Uh, I do think that he could probably move up to a 10. Once I get closer to the process, to the end of the drag process, and, and kind of reevaluate at the end, but uh, I do really like him as a 9 in that particular area. Move set, I'm. I'm going to go with an 8. I wish we would have seen a little bit more of a spin move. I wish we would have seen him a little bit more in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's doing a little bit more running with physicality uh, and stiff arms. and think he had the one nice stiff arm, but otherwise he's kind of just running through guys rather than avoiding them. So we'd like to see a little bit more in terms of moveset, but uh, definitely not bad or anything like that either. Uh, balance. I'm going to go again with an 8. I mean, we got to see him fall forward, which is nice, and one of the reasons I'm going all the way up to an 8. But I really like uh, how he, he he did trip up a little pretty easily on ankle tackles, so I can't really give him a, a 10 there. Patience is 9 for sure. I could have been a little bit more patient, I guess, but the offensive line didn't really allow him that too much. He's not going to be your carry on Johnson wait for 5 seconds behind the line. Saquon Barkley, I think, kind of did the same thing. Uh, he's not going to be carry on, Levy on, all those guys. But uh, he does have enough patience to be able to read his blocks and all that good stuff, too. So, uh, receiving ability, I'm going to go, uh, I almost kind of want to go with a 10. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 10. Uh, nice hands catching, great job there. He lined up at receiver on the snap. That was pretty cool to see uh, him have that versatility, uh, all that good stuff. He has a pretty decent route. Ability to be able to run routes. Uh, didn't really get to see a whole lot of a route tree yet, but I, that should come with time if you need him to. All that good stuff, so I don't have any worry about his receiving ability. Pass protection, he does need a little bit of work in some areas, but on all honesty, I really like him there. He's showed a lot of very, very, very good reps. Uh, enough to where I feel com confident I can give him a 10. Uh, that was really, really well done. Uh, and even though he may need a little bit of work in some of the more refined areas, I for a running back, he's where I want him to be right now. So, uh, time for him in there. Ball security did have the one fumble as he was going down to the ground. I mean, I guess a 9 is fair. I'm very hesitant to go 10s. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go with a 9. So with that, I expect his average to be somewhere around the 9. Uh, 89, 88, 87, 88, 89. So yeah, that's really good. That's high first drug grade. And that's kind of what I expected. In fact, that actually gives him running back 1 for me. Uh, is that, did I count that right? 89, 88, 87, 88, 89. Yeah. That is an 89, which is RB1 for me. And, and yeah, that's kind of what I expected, because he's very much my type of runner. So he might not be for everyone. A lot of your, you guys are probably going to want a little bit more of an outside type of, like, ETN guy who's going to be very explosive on the edge, take any carry 50 yards type of home run hitter. Uh, some of you guys are going to want your Jonathan Taylors, like your grit and your grind and your... Uh, I, very similar, honestly, to, to Taylor uh, in a lot of ways. But Taylor has a little bit more of the balance. 
Uh, and wasn't as good in the three down areas for me, the third down ability for for Akers showed up a little bit more. And Swift is kind of the opposite. He has the three down ability that I like from Akers. Pretty decent pass protection at least. Uh, pretty good hands. This is one of the best receiving backs I've watched so far. He has a little bit of patience and stuff. Uh, but he was kind of more balanced in terms of, of athleticism and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, overall, I think he's pretty similar to DeAndre Swift. If you miss, if your team misses out on Swift, Cam Akers is definitely a guy that you're going to want to look for uh, in the second half of the, the draft. I would personally see him going on in the second round. Uh, if he goes in the third, cool. He's going to be a pretty good value there. I would not wait until day three to take him. Uh, I really, really like him as a day two back, personally, in terms of value, but... Yeah, I'm really happy he decided to come out this year. That was one of the most fun tapes I've watched in a long time at Ring Back. That was really exciting. Uh, he does a lot of things well that I really, really enjoy. And for those of you guys who are Lions fans watching this, I have a, a lot of you guys are Lions fans. I'm a Lions fan myself. Uh, he is someone that you guys, all of us, should really hope Bob Quinn takes a hard look at to back up, rotate with, maybe replace, I guess, long-term, uh, carry on Johnson. He is a perfect fit for the mold of runner that I think Daryl Bevel wants, uh, that I think Matt Patricia wants, and that I really think Bob Quinn wants. Uh, this front office really seems to go for those types of guys, those three down backs who can do anything you ask them to do on the football field. Uh, he is that guy, and I think he could be that guy for Detroit next year if we elect to take him. So... With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. This was very fun for me. I hope it was just as fun for you guys watching this as well. Uh, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this over the next couple of weeks and months as we approach deeper into draft season. Uh, we also have a Twitter page as well for those of you guys who have uh, that social media platform and press at Pro Central 101. Uh, go ahead and follow us there if you'd like. But yeah. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and peace out.